a few moments later. Alright, so that didn't really work out as planned. I was loading everything up to go to a specific shop that literally like 15 people recommended me to go to locally. And they just called me back while I was loading up and said, hey, we have no time to do wheels and tires till like next week. So I'm not going to give up. I'm going to try to call a bunch of people right now, see if I can get someone to mount these because I want to mount them right now, today. Um, I can't wait till next week, so stay tuned. Ten seconds later. Huge shout out to Ground Up Automotive in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. If you need any wheels, tires, LS stuff, any car vehicle stuff, hit those guys up because out of like the six or seven local Greensburg companies, nobody could mount and balance my wheels and tires same day. I even started calling Pittsburgh companies, which is like about an hour away from me, and no one could help me. I'm pretty impatient. I wanted the wheels and tires mounted ASAP. I called Ground Up, up, recommended from a friend, and uh, dude's like, yeah, I can mount them when you want them. And I'm like, right now. So mounted, balanced, no scratches, took his time, super professional. So if anyone's in the local Greensburg area and needs some stuff like that done, hit them up. I will link their uh, information in the description below. That being said, wheels and tires are mounted and balanced right here. Looking good, looking freaking sexy. Look at these meats, man. Look at the beef on these tires. Very happy about that. I do have the center caps. They're just not right here right now. Either way, these need to go on the car right now because I actually just sold these wheels. These wheels need to leave tomorrow. So they gotta come off the car. Those gotta go on. And honestly, I mean, they're gonna look so good. Let's get these puppies on. Let's go guys, what do you think about the C5 and the black Z06 C6 replica wheels? Personally, I think it looks awesome. Now, the car is absolutely filthy. I was daily driving this car for like three weeks while my truck was up at MDDP, and I never got to wash the car. So to be completely honest, like, I do think the car looks like absolute shit right now as far as cleanliness, but with the black wheels, I think it looks awesome. And honestly, I didn't even clean the black wheels properly either. You can see all like the tire gunk and stuff from when he was mounting them. So like, I didn't clean this. The center caps are freaking filthy. And like, just look how dirty this car is. The car itself is just honestly filthy and it looks bad. I'm sure, I mean, whatever. I just, 
priority was this. Priority was to get the wheels and tires mounted on the car before, I guess, <laughs> washing it. But what do you guys think of the look? I think it looks really, really good. We ended up going pretty safe on the tire size. I ended up going with a 265, 35, 18 up front and a 285, 35, 19 in the rear as opposed to, I was originally gonna do some 305s in the rear or 285s up front, but I honestly did not wanna get have any issues with like fitment and whatnot. So right now everything fits and works phenomenally the fronts have plenty of turning radius have no issues with rubbing there and the rears actually fit very well too no issues with rubbing because i was originally kind of uh, afraid because it was going to run back here on the fender liner and honestly if i did 305s or 315 or something like that they probably would rub without a spacer on the rear so the only thing i don't like about this setup the only thing i don't care for about the setup is the rear wheel and tires do like stay pretty tucked in. They are very tucked, if you will. And I'm not sure if that's, some, I mean, yeah, you can get a good angle right there. You can see how far inward the wheels sit. Now, if I run like any kind of wheel spacer at this point, obviously I could push it out, get a better stance, and honestly fit a bigger tire at that point because I'll be making more room on the inner fender well. But I'm not sure if I want to go that route. So, and then the only other thing too, you could probably see, I need to get some black lug nuts, black cone lug nuts to get rid of this. So that way it looks a lot better. And one of my center caps broke. One of my center caps broke, so you can kind of see there how ugly that looks with like the axle nut and everything sticking out. But we will fix that here soon. So I'll get new lug nuts, we'll get a center cap. Hopefully it'll tie this up, give the car a freaking bath so it looks good. Should I be afraid to run a wheel spacer in the rear or not? Now, I'm not the biggest fan of running wheel spacers, but of course like it would give the proper fitment and make the car look a hell of a lot better in the back with it stanced out a little bit but I'm just not sure if that's something I really want to chance and risk so if you have good links to good uh, spacers that I could run on this car feel free to please send me a link I'd be happy to check those out because I might end up going that route to you know make it look a little bit better now the front has no issues the fronts look good there's no fitment issues here the fronts you know they they're very flush with the fender once again if i go in the rear you can see how tucked in that is but either way this is the look so pretty much everything now on this car is either red or black with the exception of the exhaust tips and we do have a fix remedy for that as well so once again shout out to ground up automotive for mounting the wheels and tires for me at like late notice actually no notice at all in greensburg pa and shout out to 724 fab he did an excellent job great service and a good turnaround time so and the wheels obviously look really awesome so i know this is not everybody's cup of tea a lot of people probably 15, 20 years older than me and older are gonna hate this because chrome looks good. I'm not gonna lie, the chrome wheels definitely look good on the car, but man, I've always wanted just like a murdered out freaking sports car. And this is what we got, was what we're building here behind me. So like the video if you haven't already, subscribe, join the family, join the uh, not only Cummins content, but Corvette content. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.